Captain's log. Guybrush Threepwood. Lost at sea for days now. I have no crew or navigational instruments. No provisions except a half-eaten corn dog, and unless I find water soon, I'm surely done for. Only the hope of finding my love, Elaine, keeps me going. And my quest for the fabulous treasure called Big Whoop has left me in this sorry state. I thought it would bring me fame and glory. Instead, it delivered me into the clutches of my enemy, the zombie pirate LeChuck. I had thwarted his evil plot to marry Elaine, and he was after revenge. Uh, really, really thirsty now. If only I could have a small drink of fresh water, I might have the strength to sail on. Oh, but I know there's nothing but ocean for miles and miles. If I could reach land, I might find water and some food. Fruit, maybe. Something to fight off the scurvy and help me get my strength back. Hmm, maybe some bananas. Oh, why do I torture myself like this? I might as well wish for some chicken and a big mug of grog for all the good it'll do me. Oh, my sweet Elaine. Am I cursed to starve here on this ocean without seeing your face just one more time? Am I... I just don't feel that way about you. Elaine? By my congealed blood, you'll learn to love me. Sail with me, and I'll make you queen of the dead. I, I can't. I'm washing my hair tonight. Blast me your hair, woman! Can't you see that this salty old sea corpse pines for your every gentle caress? You know, I don't think my father would approve of me dating the undead. And you're probably too nice a zombie pirate for me anyway. Let's just be friends instead. Chuck, you're an evil, foul-smelling, vile, codependent villain, and that's just not what I'm looking for in a romantic relationship right now. Darn your riddles, you saucy female! What do you mean? Ah! Oh! You're a bloodthirsty monster who's already kidnapped me once, tortured my friends, and taken from me the only man I ever loved, Guybrush Threepwood. Ah, uh, how romantic. Ship ahoy! Threepwood! Fish him out. Guybrush? Guybrush, Threepwood, by my gangrenous gut. I don't know how you escaped my carnival of the damned, but you won't escape the taste of my blade! <laughs> ah! Oh, the lass has spirit. Throw him in the hold, I'll finish him after the battle. Turn loose the long boats! And prepare the flaming voodoo cannonball. I've got to get out of here and help Elaine. If I could only get through this one door, well, then I could easily overpower the armed guards above, slip over the side, and make for the shore. Quit your mumbling, captive! Blast ye scurvy dogs!
This'll make you rue the day. Avast, you swabs. Prepare for your doom. Stand your distance. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Who are you? I'm the evil pirate Bloodnose, the wickedest fiend ever to sail under the banner of King Death. I'd as soon chew your nose off as look at you. Are you wearing a fake beard? Blood knows the pirate would not have a fake beard. Yes, it is. It's been glued to your ear hair. Actually, it's a highly sophisticated beard weave made from the chest and back hair of real pirates. I'm hoping it'll take root if I don't wash it for a while. Hey, wait a minute. You're not a pirate. Wally! Don't you recognize me? It's Guybrush Threepwood. Oh, gee. Hello, Mr. Wood. The last time I saw you, we were prisoners in LeChuck's dungeon. Why would you sign on with the Ship of the Living Dead? Well, Mr. Brush, at first I had some misgivings about it. But thanks to LeChuck's seminars, motivational lectures, and audiobooks on Parrot, I've become a vicious Corsair. You can too. Ask me how. Do you have any literature I could look at? Here. This leaflet explains the basic philosophy I follow. I'm not in the mood for sales hype. You're a failure as a pirate. Shut your trap, you yellow-bellied blowfish! One more peep out of you, and I'll do you in! You haven't got the guts. Yes, scabrous swab! One more word, and I'll let you have it! Just go ahead and shoot. That's it! I'm gonna blast you! I'm gonna... I'm gonna... <laughs> I, I can't do it. I just can't. <laughs> You're right, Mr. Wood. I'm just not a pirate. I'm not ferocious or bloodthirsty or hateful or anything. I'm not even... I'm not even unpleasant. Oh! Ah! Oh, there, there. Getting pretty good at this. Ooh, gross. All the bones and stuff are floating towards the ship. <laughs>
Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 Taste cold steel, people can't restraint rope. <laughs> Now, with the demon flames of this voodoo cannonball, I'll blast my significant other into the significant other world! <laughs> That'll show her how much I truly care. <laughs> Neptune's navel! That was a close one! I lost my cutlass when the ship capsized. It's a bag of wooden nickels. Some treasure. Hey, there's a big diamond ring behind this bag. Guybrush? Guybrush! I thought I'd lost you forever! Is it really you? Yes, Elaine. Um, did you really mean what you said out there? That I was the only man you ever loved? Uh, well, yes, Guybrush, I guess I did. Elaine, I'm a man of action. A swashbuckler, a rogue, a wanderer, a man who could hold his breath for ten minutes. I have no ties and no regrets. I sail with the wind and go where adventure takes me. But somehow, something always Guy leaves Brush, me. stop babbling. Elaine, will you marry me? Oh, Guybrush. Oh, Wally? You're alive. But how did you survive the explosion? I was thrown clear. I'm just lucky I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. Wow, Elaine, that's some ring. Thank you, Wally. It's an engagement ring from Guybrush. Hey, that looks just like the big diamond ring that Chuck had in his treasure hold. You know, the one with that ghastly, disfiguring voodoo curse on it? Well, I'm sure Guybrush wouldn't have given you that ring. Anyway, i got to be going. I hear there's a tattoo removal place on this island that's freckle safe. See you at the wedding. Guybrush! Uh... <laughs> Oh no! Elaine? She's not gonna be happy about this. <laughs> it's Elaine. I've got to change her back somehow. Elaine? Honey? You okay? Can I get you anything? I'll just start lifting that pirate curse then, huh? Looks like it was thrown here by a typhoon. Boo! Ah! <laughs> I am Murray, the invincible demonic skull. I bring you warning from the infernal realms. Do not go farther into the swamp. Turn back. 
Turn back! Darkness will envelop you! <laughs> How'd you get all the way up there? Through sheer force of will. Uh-huh. All right, there was a bunch of those weird voodoo kids. They found me on shore and put me on top of this spike all the time thinking they were so funny. Do you need me to help you down? Help! I need no help from you foolish mortals! I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull! Okay, just thought I'd ask. Don't get me wrong, I do appreciate the offer. What are you doing up there? I am standing as a testament. Standing? Hanging as a testament to the power of the forces of evil that will one day claim victory over the entire Earth! How long are you gonna keep doing that? As long as it takes. Must get pretty dull up there, I suppose. Never! The powers of darkness are never dull. We will one day prove that... Oh, who am I trying to fool? I'm bored out of my skull. Figuratively speaking, of course. You seem restless. Oh, I don't know. It's just that not many people come through this swamp. What would you rather be doing? I need to be out among the lesser people, terrifying them and causing pain and misery. That would make you happy? Yes, happy in a dark demonic way. Do you know anything about lifting curses? Oh, right. I know a lot about lifting curses. That's why I'm a disembodied talking skull, sitting on top of a spike in the middle of a swamp. You seem bitter. I'm sorry. It's been a rough day. I'd love to stay in chat, but uh, I gotta go. What a relief! Wow, I got a whole pack of gum! How did you just appear like that? I am one gifted with a second sight, adept at manipulating the forces of nature for the benefit of all who enter my door. You're a fashion consultant. Well, yes, but that's not what I was referring to. I am a voodoo priestess. Neat. You're an autumn, by the way. Don't I know you from somewhere? We have known each other for a very long time, Guybrush Threepwood. You've been through much, so it is understandable that you have forgotten me. We met on Melee Island when you were first trying to become a pirate. Hang on a second. Are we gonna do one of those flashback things? They always make me nauseous. No, I'll make this quick. I twice helped you defeat the evil pirate LeChuck, first by preparing the voodoo antiroute, I'm starting to remember. And then again by helping you prepare a voodoo doll of his zombie form. That's right. You've helped so much and I still don't know your name. I am known by many names on many different islands. But names have little importance. You should know this more than anyone, Guybrush Threepwood. Yes, you're right. Hey, are you making fun of me? I wouldn't dream of it. Boy, have I got some stories to tell you. Stories? Yes, well, I'm sensing a great disturbance. I have to go. But I've got to tell you about LeChuck and Elaine. I'm going to disappear now in a big flash of light. Cover your eyes. No, 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 wait. It started back on Dinky Island. I knew LeChuck was close. I'll be disappearing here any moment. Okay, okay, no stories. Nice place. I love what you've done with it. Thank you. You'll have to excuse the mess. The kids came over to play with their paper voodoo dolls. They're adorable children. Would you like to see some pictures? Perhaps later. Yes, there's no time for that now. 
I sense that something terrible has happened. Hey, you're good. Something terrible has happened. I finally proposed to Elaine. Congratulations. That doesn't sound so ter... And when I placed the engagement ring on her hand, she was placed under a horrible pirate curse and trapped for eternity as a solid gold statue. Oh, that explains it. I was struck with a wave of overwhelming hatred and anger. Yeah, that LeChuck was a pretty mean guy. I was talking about Elaine. Well, there's no time to worry about that now. We have to hurry. Do not panic, Guybrush. She will be safe until we can break the curse. You only have to worry about her being stolen. Where did you hide her? Hide her? You didn't hide her? She's a solid gold statue on an island full of pirates. What were you thinking? Go, Guybrush, hurry, before you're too late. Elaine! <laughs> I've got to get her back. This is so embarrassing. Looks like I'm gonna need some more help. <laughs> Someone's stolen Elaine! That is unfortunate. It will be difficult to get her back. Do you know who kidnapped her? Not for certain, but I suspect that it's the mangy pirates anchored in Danger Cove. Can you give me something to lift the curse? No, LeChuck's curse is a very powerful one. Fueled by his anger and his intense frustration in dealing with the opposite sex. I have nothing here to lift so powerful a curse, but there is one way. Great, tell me. You have to replace the cursed ring with a pure one of greater or equal value. A good guideline is two months' salary. Where am I going to find a huge, uncursed diamond ring? Legends speak of a whopping big diamond ring on Blood Island. Blood Island? I've never heard of it. You will soon become quite familiar with it. But you must be careful, Guybrush. I have foreseen that your journey will be filled with peril and deception. I have also seen that Blood Island will be the place where you will die. Uh-huh. So, uh, any huge uncursed rings on any other islands? No. The value of the ring on Blood Island comes from its emotional significance. It represents a pure, true love, a power greater than any other. Oh, that's sweet. I, I think I have something in my eye. Do not mock the voodoo priestess. How do I get to Blood Island? You will need three things. A map to Blood Island, for the journey is a long and dangerous one. A seaworthy ship to take you there. And an experienced crew. Map, ship, and crew. Got it. Well, how will I find the ring on Blood Island? All I can say is that I see a long and painful history connected with that ring. And I feel a great sadness associated with it. You will learn more once you have actually found the island. Blood Island sounds dangerous. You have to come with me. No, I cannot. I have lived on three different islands in the past six years. I do not wish to travel anymore. Besides, this derelict is still an escrow. But who will be the game's only female character? You've got to come. You're my only hope. No, Guybrush. There is another. Blood Island, here I come. I finally defeated LeChuck and his skeleton pirates. True evil can never be destroyed completely. But I heard him blow up and everything. You'd be surprised at how much abuse an evil undead zombie pirate can take. I'm sick of talking about that jerk LeChuck. I want to know what voodoo spell you're working on. Voodoo spell? Oh, this. This is just a fondue I'm making for tonight. Would you like to try it? Does it have any skink toes in it? A few. I'll pass. 
Thanks for your help. Gotta go. Welcome, patron, to the Barbary Coast, where every haircut is an adventure. Aye, and if you're wanting a haircut, you'll have to wait until I'm finished with Captain Rottingham here. Are you guys pirate barbers? We prefer the term buccaneer hairstylists. Great! Maybe you guys can help me find this huge diamond ring I'm looking for. Diamond ring? Yeah, it's supposedly enormous, and it's on Blood Island. Blood Island? Never heard of it. It's a funny story, really. I need it to lift this curse that's turned my girlfriend into a solid gold statue. Solid gold? Wait a second, did I just share too much? Looks like a nice coat, with just a few flakes of unsightly dandruff. I'd hate people to think less of this guy just because of a slight problem with... Hey, this isn't dandruff. Oh! There's a glove in here. Watch me make this disappear. Nothing up my sleeve? <laughs> Presto! Hey, it worked! There's something inside. The A, V, mm, C's of ventriloquism. Hello there, Sonny. You open yet? Oh boy, oh boy! My first customer. Gee willikers, is this gonna be swell? Hi, my name's Kenny. Kenny Foulmouth. It sure would be neat if you would buy some of my lemonade. It only costs a nickel. And best of all, I have a bottomless mug policy. That does sound like a good deal. I'd like to buy some lemonade. Sure. We have a bottomless mug policy, you know. That'll be a nickel. There's no bottom to this mug. Give me my money back. I'm sorry. I did tell you about our bottomless mug policy. 
And there are no refunds. Why, you little... Thank you. Come again. Station. You've been struck with the hair demons. What are you talking about? The cursed head vermin. The scourge of every hygienic sailor on the seven seas. That's a lie. Sure as I'm standing here, they're wriggling about your scalp like a pack of wretched sea lions. Good analogy. This calls for drastic action. I'm bringing in old Ironsides. No, no, let's not be too rash. Rash? That's a bad sign. There's no time to lose. I'm going to have to amputate. No! No! You'll ruin my hair! Ahoy there! I'm Guybrush Threepwood, here to serve all your mighty pirate needs. Pleasure to meet you, Guybrush. I am Haggis McMutton of the Clan McMutton. I sure could use a haircut. Have a seat, laddie, and I'll do you up with a fine quaff. that ineffectual paperweight. I'll have to go find another. But what about my haircut? Keep your skirt on, lad. Searched the whole island, and I couldn't have find a single rock for a paperweight. I suppose I'll just have to eyeball your haircut. I just remembered I have another appointment. Oh, I was going to give you a French braid, too. Ahoy there, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. So... So, it's good to meet you, Mr... Bill. Bill? That's your pirate name, Bill? Cutthroat Bill. Oh, I see. Well, that puts a whole new spin on it, doesn't it? It's been a pleasure. Bye. You know, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. I think we've, well, we've bonded. How did you do that? Oh, it was nothing, really. Just sudden pressure applied below the sternum to expel a foreign object from the windpipe. That's amazing. I owe you my life. From now on... Yes? From now on, that will be known as the Threepwood Maneuver.
I wonder if this plaque says something about the flower I just cut. Ipecac, Cephalus ipecacuana, one of the creeping vines common throughout Plunder Island. The syrup made from the ipecac flowers was used by the early settlers of Plunder Island as a purgative. this sign means. Snake crossing. What possible harm could a snake? Ooh. Well, this isn't good. makes syrup of Ipecac. That seems logical. <laughs> Whew, that sure was a close one. I thought for sure when I got eaten by that snake that I was done for. Thank goodness I'm safe. No? Hey! the quicksand is sucking all the cool stuff I found in that snake from my pants. Now there's an odd sensation. Youch! Well, I got the thorn. Hope that was worth it. Perfect. For once today, things are going... Well, darn. Hey. Thank goodness for those predictable Caribbean trade winds. Neat. A world-class pea shooter.
have a reservation? Of course I have a reservation. Then let's see your reservation slip. Very good. You may seat yourself, Mr. Uh, pardon me, Mrs. Brian Stoop. the right amount of exotic flavor. It's a good thing, Joe, because I can't keep them out of the food around here. Yeah. Hey, mister. Mister, you listening? Ah! It's one of LeChuck's skeletal horde. Aye, I fixed his little red dinghy, but good. Mm, the undead that walk among us must surely be destroyed, lest their evil like overrun and befoul the world of the living. Aye, and he complained about me checking. Oh. Would you like this jawbreaker? Thanks to ye! Ouch! I think I loosed me gold tooth! Arr, I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth, but it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. Something... something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me teeth. Would you like some gum? Thanks. Hmm. This is really good steak-flavored gum. It gets you here. And it gets you right here. Why, you little scamp. <laughs> That's quite a funny trick you've played on old Cap and Blondebeard. Tastes like sirloin. The gold tooth is in the gum. Oh, that's made my voice sound funny. One second. Do you have me gold tooth? Uh, no. Let me see. You don't have it? Darn. I'll have to order a new one. I wonder where that tooth fell.
It's the gold tooth. Spinning. I gotta lay off the rum. <laughs> 